Uh, we have to find a combination of what we have just seen. We have to find the equation of tangent and we have to find the equation of normal. So we have to find two equations and then we have to find the point of intersection of these two lines. So we have to find the point of intersection. So that is the idea. There is no point of intersection without the equations. The first task is to find the equation of the two lines. Equation of the tangent first. Okay, so let's start. The equation of the curve. The tangent is drawn to a curve. And the equation of a tangent is the equation of a any, any line. It doesn't really matter. So this is the curve. So it's a, this is a quadratic equation. So we can have a parabola over here. So the point is uh, 1, the tangent is drawn at 2, 5. So the point where the tangent is drawn is 2, 5. And we have a tangent at this particular point. So our task is to find the equation of this tangent. So the equation of the curve is y equals to x squared plus 1. Derivative of y is dy by dx. Derivative of x squared is twice x. Derivative of 1 is 0. We don't have to write that. Now we have to find the gradient at the point 2, 5. So x equals to 2. That's all we need for the time being. So uh, dy by dx is going to be 2 into 2, which is 4. Gradient of the tangent is going to be the same as the gradient of the curve. So the gradient of the tangent is 4. Now we have to find the equation of the tangent line. Remember, the equation of the tangent line is the same as the equation of any line. So this is going to be y minus y1, which is 5. Gradient is 4. x minus x1 is 2. So we have y minus 5 equals to 4 into x is 4x minus 4 to the 8. So we have y minus 5. So we can send the 5 to the other side. So y equals to 4x. 5 minus 8 is minus 3. We found the equation of the tangent line. Now the next stop is the equation of the other line, normal line. So this is equation 1 because we have to solve simultaneous equation for finding the point of intersection. So we have to find the equation of the normal and the normal point where we have to draw that is at the point 1, 2. So let's assume we're not doing any plotting here, just a rough sketch. So this is 1, 2 and if we draw the normal line over here, 90 degree, so then we can find the equation and later on we can find the point of intersection. So let's find the normal. So we already know the gradient. So at the point 1, 2, x equals to 1. We only need the value of x for the gradient here. So dy by dx equals to 2 into 1 is 2. So the gradient of the normal, remember, it is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the curve. So it would be minus 1 by 2. Reciprocal means you divide 1 with that number. So minus 1 by dy by dx is the gradient of the normal. Now we have to find the equation of the normal. Equation of the normal is going to be same as any other line. It's just called, we're calling it the normal line. So it's going to be y minus y1, which is 2. y coordinate is 2 equals to m is minus half. x minus x1 is x minus 1. Let's cross multiply. 2 into y minus 2 equals to minus 1 into x minus 1. So we have 2 into y minus 2 to the 4 equals to minus x into minus 1 into x is minus x plus 1. Let's find the point of intersection of the two lines. This is where the two lines meet. So the point of intersection is solving the simultaneous equations. So by the question, equation 1 is y equals to 4x minus 3. So this is equation 1. Equation 2 is, let's simplify, uh, 2y equals to minus x plus 5. This is equation 2. Now we can solve simultaneous equation by the elimination method. But here I prefer to use substitution method where you put the value of y in the second equation. So y equals to 4x minus 3. You plug it in and you simplify. That's all. So I plug the value in into the second equation. 4x minus 3, I plug it in the second equation. So now let's simplify this. 2 4 is 8 x minus 2 3 is 6 equals to minus x plus 
5. So 8x plus x equals to 5 plus 6. So that's going to be 11. So therefore 9x equals to 11. So therefore x equals to 11 by 9. That is one of the point of intersection. That is the x-coordinate of the point of intersection. Remember, every point has two values. A value of x and a value of y. You cannot, you need to remember this, that we have to find the y-coordinate also because we have to find the point. So the y-coordinate, we can put it in any of the equation. Let me put it in the first one because it is easier. So 4 into x. In x, we plug in 11 by 9. So 4 into 11 by 9 uh, minus 3 and we become we get 44 by 9 minus 3 and it turns out to be so 44 by 9 minus 3 and it turns out to be 17 by 9 so 17 by 9 so that is the y coordinate remember we have to write it as a point to write it as a point it has to have open bracket x coordinate comma y coordinate close bracket that is the notation so x coordinate is 11 by 9 comma y coordinate is 17 by 9 bracket closed so that's the point of intersection mm -hmm.